Capricorn. I am so glad to be here for you. I love you guys so much. Um, I know I tell you every time you're one of my favorite signs, but you truly are one of my favorite signs. I have more Capricorn clients than any other sign, and there are 12 signs, and I, it's just, it's pretty incredible how you guys dominate my personal uh, client list, and I could not be more grateful for you. Like, I really couldn't. And so even though I don't get, like, this humongous Cappy following on YouTube directly, um, I absolutely um, appreciate, I know a lot of my cl Cappy clients watch me on here, and I just, I love you guys so much, every single one of you. And I will always be grateful because you have helped feed my family. And so thank you so much. Um, I have gotten some feedback on the background. People miss the kitchen. Um, and it's funny, um, but uh, my daughter does not want to be on YouTube. And, and she likes this thing. So she can come in and get stuff out of the kitchen while I'm taping and her not get banned from this end of the house. Uh, so I'm sorry. I have a shy daughter who doesn't want to be on the tube. Um, however, on the day she's not here, maybe I'll, I'll move this thing and I'll tape in the kitchen again. All right, my loves, let me get into it. I've been talking for way too long and I'm sorry. I haven't even gotten into my intro yet and I'm sorry about that. All right. So, uh, this is going to be a lovely name for Kathy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, North node. I just feel like talking to guys for a minute. Okay. God. Uh, and it's going to be, I'm going to pull for two different energies. Please feel free to timestamp whenever the reading starts so you can skip over all this crap. If one of you wants to do that, that'd be great. Um, but in the description box below, you will find the extended link. Uh, so you can get the second half of this reading In this reading, I'm going to be going over feelings and general energies. And then in the extended, I'm going to go over advice and outcomes. Um, and then what else is there? Sometimes I get into outcome and advice in the reading in this one too, though. And, um, what else? Oh, personal reading with me link in the description box below as well. I read for everybody in my wellness center and you can order a video reading through Wissio. So whatever you prefer, I'm here for you. Okay. Uh, and yeah, all the decks I use description box below my girl, the green witch description box below. So check that description box below. It's that little corner. The little arrow in the corner. You just click it. It's right there. Also, to my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Um, if you are new, please hit that subscribe and smash that like button for your girl so it gets out to more cappies, okay? All right, my loves, here we go. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and blocking in negative energies from entering the sacred space so mo it be. Whew, that was quick, Cappy. And like, M Melissa, you talked way too freaking much, you Gabby Goose. Ooh, trust your instincts. All right, definitely some of my Capricorns. So there's a reason why, like, I have so many Capricorn clients is because you guys are real believers. And if you're a real believer, then there's a good chance you have your own gifts. And it's just learning how to tap into those. Um, moving in a new direction. A lot of Cappies have been going through it, man. And I'm not even talking about the pandemic. I'm talking about the shit that was going down in the sky. Um, it just, you guys got hit in 2020. And it doesn't seem like, you know, it's just because the year changed doesn't mean the energy goes anywhere. And so you're moving through, though. What I'm proud of you about is all these big changes. And anybody with any kind of Cappy in their chart, like, has felt the crazy. And... So many, at least my clients that I can speak for, I have seen just grow, 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 learn, 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 do the best they could with the shit, okay? Basically, I don't know how else to say it. Uh, shift your perspective. Perspective. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mercury in retrograde. That's happening soon. And this Leo moon got me feeling funny. It might got you feeling funny too, Cappy. Shift your perception of yourself, baby, okay? Because... Yes, you guys have gotten hit. There's no doubt about it. You guys have gotten hit this year. But it's definitely something that we all go through at some point or another. You know, know your intuitive gifts. I think that all this hardship, man. And I was just talking to um, my friend who's a, who's a phone psychic who I'm going to start a podcast with. I can't wait for that. And I can't wait to tell you about it. Um, anyway. We were yapping like we always do. And uh, she was talking about how it takes, you know, pressure for a diamond to form. And it's like, yeah, 
That's what I'm looking at here. It's funny. I was talking to another psychic who was giving me the message for the Capricorn reading. It takes pressure for a diamond to form, baby. So I really need you to understand, Cappy, that like this is all learning. And the moon, the Leo moon, like I said, I didn't even notice this moon card because it was like this, really may be affecting you. So just remember, we got this full moon um, on the 28th, okay? But it's supposed to, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about this one. And I haven't read enough about it, I'm not going to lie. I need to do a little more research. And with the amount of Leo placements I have, you would think, oh, freaking well, whatever. Um, star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Look at all this. This is all like supremely gifted individual stuff here. So you can trust those messages that you're getting. There may be someone you're missing, though, a little bit, Cappy. And I'm going to get into it. This may be about someone you're not with, this reading, and someone you may be highly attracted to, you know? Um, and it's almost like you've got to, so you've got to shift your perception from what's going on up in here to what's going on up in here. Get out of your head and into your body, Cappy, to, to, uh, to form a, an assessment of this. Because having the air guardian and the move in the new direction, what's her, the traveler, I, I should know this deck by now. I can't believe I couldn't remember her name. Um, having those two right after the other with all these intuitive cards tells me that spirit really wants you listening to that gut. Who, your person's afraid. There's no doubt about it. I get that right away from this. You're per you, you scare this person, and I don't even think you mean to. It's just by being you. Oh, I just heard. They're intense. Are you intense? I mean, I'm intense too. I get it. Shaman. And the trader. This person needs to talk to you more. Like, they need to let you know because they're pretty high level stuff. I love the shaman, man. He's like a really great omen for someone who's pretty high level on the spiritual totem pole. And I think that you absolutely, you know, are connecting with someone who's pretty cool. It's, they need to see that. And they, I think they may be suffering a little bit from imposter syndrome, possibly a little, uh, not feeling their full worth. And if they told you that, I think that you would be able to help them, Cappy. Ooh, you might be dealing with the fire sign. Um... Big sexual energy between the two of you with these two. I'm not going to lie. It was most likely a romantic relationship. One where either sex was a part of it or it um, or it was supposed to be. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. It's definitely a romantical reading here. And I think you miss them a little, Cappy, at the very least. Um But I'm not convinced that focusing on missing them is helping you all that much. So let's see. So. Page of Cups. It does seem like there's a willingness on your side to just start over from scratch. Um, there could be kids involved. Whoa, two pages. You just want to talk to this person. I'm getting like all you want to do is just talk to this person and figure out what happened but yet you can't really make I think maybe this person ghosted you a little took off on you and and you're left holding it's almost like they left you with holding the bag <laughs> whatever that means like it's like almost like it's like they I do think you may have been ghosted um, this is reminding me a little bit of an Aries reading I did, Ghosted But Not Forgotten. <laughs> uh, that was a long time ago. Let me see. Six of Wands. Wow. You're still moving forward despite it, which I'm really proud of you for. And this move in a new direction, I think you've already realized that moving in that new direction is, is the way to go. Like, you know that sitting around ruminating on this, hopping on the hamster wheel, <laughs> isn't helpful, right? And there is a refreshing energy with these two pages of like, you being like, all right, I am starting over. Um, and the next one will work out. 
I like that attitude, Cappy. Um, Knight of Cups. I don't think this is you giving emotional expression or you already have. And you've already made it clear how you feel about this person. And you're not going to chase them. You know better. Look, he's this. I don't know if that's a horse or a donkey. I'm pretty sure he's on a donkey. But he's got the eagle. And that that tells me this knight is pretty smart. And I like him, actually, for a knight. You made this ghosting or this person who just took off on you or whatever, Cappy. Um, may have made you feel a little emotionally vulnerable. But you're still confident. And that's good, baby. Keep your chin up. Because anyone who ghosts you, you got to understand is missing out on you, not the other way around. Okay? you got to see that, Cappy as this person's missing out on me. I'm not missing out on them. This also tells me that you will pass them by if they don't address what happened. You are expecting an apology, and if you don't get an apology, you're not going to talk to this person. You are 100% all set. And I like that. Because, you know, you, you need to have boundaries with this person, Cappy. I do feel like you care about them a lot. But if they fucked with you or ghosted you and then thinks, like, if they think that they can just walk back in like everything's cool, that's hilarious. Yeah, you're out like trout. Cappy is out like a trout. Um, and you're taking your kids with you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, Cappy. Maybe you resonate with that. Um... But you're taking your kids with you and you're leaving. Um, it's funny because I think that, you know, for some reason this person's coming up in your reading because they ghosted you and maybe you have some residual feelings for this person. But I don't see you making plans with this person in any way, shape, or form. Nine of coins. Whoa. I mean... Oh, all right. I was wondering. I couldn't read. I couldn't immediately read that nine of coins for some reason. Something stopped me from saying, you know, this person's. Oh, this person's feeling good, looking good, because they're not. Um, on the outside, on fake book, they are absolutely doing great. In their mind, they're trapped. Completely trapped. Um, if this person owes you an apology, Cappy, I feel like they feel so much shame that it's very hard for them to say that. Yeah, they're really good with pretending like everything's okay. And that they're good and that they are golden when it's really a manipulation because they don't want to tell anybody how trapped in their own mind they are. So this is why this person goes to you. Um, I do think that this person may be commitment phobic, um, may have had a really bad experience with one person and then has just attributed that to anybody with certain genitalia. Oh, I don't know how to take this. It came, I can't, it's reversed. Oh, this person has lost their oomph. This person is un feeling uninspired. Um, judgment. They're trying, all right, I think they're trying to come up with a way to get you back and can't figure out, like, yeah, yeah, there it is, two of wands, oh, wow, okay, yeah, they can't figure out, they know they fucked up, they know they fucked up, and they know that they, it would take a lot to get you back after what they did, and they don't know how to fix this, Cappy. Um, I do think there was manipulation on their side, but I think they manipulate everybody. I think they're manipulating themselves. I rarely read this magician in a negative way. I mean, look at her. She's adorable. <laughs> Are you going to read that in a negative way? But I'm still getting really negative vibes from this magician and she didn't even come out reverse. You see, I do read reversals, you know, that was more of a sideways, but it, it flipped to the upside. It was way more upside down. 
can, so I gotta take it that way. And with this two of wands, that just confirms to me this person is all the way up in their melon. A hundred percent. Look, this dude got a melon in his head, hand. And he's smiling, but like it's oh god, I don't trust it. I don't trust up. Oh, yep. Yeah, don't trust it. Could be a third party involvement here. And I am going to use my Dearly Departed Bastard deck. Um, I said I wouldn't use this deck on the public, but now I have another one coming. Check out the review I did. Uh, Terra by Seven really appreciated it, and that was cool. So, all right, let's see. Oh, boy. So the general energies is you're done. You're done, and this person wants you back but can't figure out how to get you back. Because they know you're done. They know you're done. I think they can feel it from you, Cappy. I think maybe you chased this person for a long time. And the chase is over. Yep, the chase is over. You are looking at this person in a, in a way that is, you're scrutinizing them in a way that you never did before. Judgment. And you're wondering, you don't, uh, you don't want this person back. The idea of this person coming back to you terrifies you, Cappy. And you got the you, but guess what? Okay, I'm getting, and this isn't necessarily always true for Cappy, so, but you can't bullshit a bullshitter. They can't get, their shit don't work on you no more. You know their game, and you can beat them at it. So don't lose any sleep over this person coming back, baby. Because they can't get at you. You've you figured them out. You figured their game out. And they can't get to you the way they used to. I do think that you watch your anxiety over whether this person comes back or not. Because they're not even sure if they're coming back. And of course, I'll go over in the extended if they are going to end up coming back. But you worrying about it isn't going to help. If anything, it's just going to bring it in because you're a manifesto. So don't manifest it. Don't even think about it. Be like, you know what? If it happens, I'll call the cops or I'll do what I got to do. You know, like I will protect myself if, if it's not on the level of like needing to call the cops. But some of you, it may be. I said that for a reason, you know, three at once. You're better off. OK, hope for the best. Do a little prep for the worst. Worst, like figure out what you would do if it happened and then leave it at that. You know, spend 10 minutes coming up with a plan. If you're getting some intuitive hits, like these are saying, that this person's coming back and it's freaking you out, Cappy, I really want you to step outside yourself for 10 minutes and be like, okay, what would I tell my best friend? And if, um, what is it? What would I tell my best friend to do in this situation? All right, I'm going to come up with a plan to keep myself safe. If this happens, then I'm going to keep the plan, maybe even write it down, right? And then if this happens, but make sure you keep the if, not when, okay? Because it doesn't, this person's so wishy-washy and so stuck in their head that like, yeah, this person, I don't see it right now. Um, I don't, I don't think they're going to do it. Oh, but in the future they may, and I was going to say this person may come back around in, in March or April and March or April. So they do want to work with you, Kathy. And that freaks you out for some reason. Um, I don't know what I picked up on here. I have no idea. This is, I, and, and I, I do want you to like, understand that. The more you focus on what you don't want to happen, the more likely it is to happen. So again, come up with that plan because you're you're picking up on something here, Cappy. You can feel it. You can feel they're on their way back. And and I mean, we are going into retrograde, but I'm predicting this for closer to spring. So just don't. OK, Cappy, I want you to understand. Yeah. This person has some things to work out first before they do come back. And that's what I think is going to take. That's why there's future, future planning here and rest. Like this person is working it out, but you can feel that they will be back. And it's like, they're like the dirt. I will be back. 
Um, ooh, the devil at the bottom of the deck. That's your energy. Um, Cappy. Um, sorry, my, my hands are sore. Um, this person, you're right. You're picking up on something. And there's a chance this person is coming back, most likely in spring. They're probably going to, you're probably going to start to feel the rumblings or you may already, but mostly in February, I think it's going to come up. Come up with a plan for if it does happen, if this person scares you. Or, I mean, you may be happy about this, you know, but I, I, it just, there is a level of freak happening, like losing sleep over it. So I don't want to see you bugging for no reason. There's no reason to age yourself prematurely for this. You know, stress creates, remember, stress creates wrinkles and grays. We do not need that. So I want you to chill out a little bit. I love you. And I am going to go over exactly what's going to happen in the extended. But if I'm leaving you here, I love you so much, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching me. Quit, quit bugging out because what is going to happen is going to happen. The more you let go and let God, the better. And get some sleep. All right. Bye, guys.